next episode. Here we go. I go through other people's stuff. No. It's not gonna be like Fable. I suppose some introductions are in order. New fifth year. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon prince. Like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way this poor bit at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? <laughs> Can't imagine starting a new school this late. Food. This dude's just eating everything. I apologize. I didn't mean to make him. And he's just spending. I'm just gonna stop touching stuff. Hey, what's up, bud? Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Yep, looks like we're getting in trouble. Uh, might want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Yeah, <laughs> watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. <laughs> Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Good to know. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kogawa ever could. Sounds Speaking cool. of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh, that seems like a dumb question, obviously. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. 
Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? I'm just gonna ask it anyway. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Why do I have my wand out like I'm about to mess her up for talking to me like that? Oh, okay, yep. <clears throat> I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Hmm. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Mm -hmm. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? No. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. You know what? Another glove. Let's do it. Got it. Happy. Satisfied. I catch one more glove. Let's get. You know what? Here it is. It's happening again. Boom. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. <clears throat> Professor Wizard gave me something called the Wizard's Field Guide. I should follow I her certainly see. would have appreciated something like the Field Guide when I was a student. Okay, what is Using happening? the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Yeah. Like the. Snakes.
The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic Are you and educate me? yourself about I'm gonna catch you. the law. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna get you. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? Revelio. And see what details the field guide can provide. Statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain. Britain. Which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Interesting. <clears throat> Field Guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay. Your wizarding level XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Okay. Let's just kill them. Potato. Surprise. <laughs> ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Select the grand staircase. Okay, selected. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Uh, green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house and camera room. <clears throat> Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. Uh, the right side of the map is where you'll find the academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouses. Select the Library Annex. Okay. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for you. A and D. Use A and D to rotate the map. Fast travel. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Indeed. You can get almost <clears throat> anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. 
always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Heckert in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Do I see a floating paper somewhere over here? Yes, I did. Rebellion. Yes. Oh, fork. Okay, fine. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I didn't know he was going to say it, all right? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. Hmm. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, mm. Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. <clears throat> Track a quest. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Rebellion. Zoranite fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Unless it's an aura. Interesting. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating Lumos. that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It's just downstairs over there. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Well, there's that butterfly along. Statue with an inter ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smermy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Interesting. Okay. Do here. Uh, Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Uh, okay. Clever. Hogwarts has 
<laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Got it. Slytherin talk. My older brothers were all four. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. Cool. Well, you know what? Found another one. Screw it. Cool. Gotcha. Rebellion. It's gonna do it every uh hey, I wonder. Can I yeah, gear, here we go. I saw I got something new. The gear menu it says.
Revelio. Sounds like it's coming up here. Mm hmm. Sir Cadogan was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and as such became the sworn knight of the Brown Table. Although he is only really known to the wizarding world, he is famous for his defeat of the Wyvern and Wei, and now spends his days challenging students to duels. Revelio. Lumos. Okay, it's a green room with a bunch of pictures. Small half stop. Revelio.
Revelio. Ravenclaw door knocker. To gain entrance to the Ravenclaw common room, one must solve the rather esoteric riddle using logic and reasoning posed by the eagle door knocker. Okay. in here. Revelio. Mm -hmm. Lumos. Travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Alright, well, this is pretty cool, but uh, I think we're gonna end it here. So. Alright, thank you all for watching.